welcome back to the channel and if you're new welcome I am your little darling narrator and on this channel I read stories not just any stories but I think I read some really great stories for the young readers and if you are not subscribed to this channel I strongly recommend you go ahead and you subscribe because all we do here are read good stories for the young readers and if there's any story that you like don't forget hit that like button that just helps this channel and we appreciate all the support that we've been getting so stay tuned The name of this story is called Thomas and the Naughty Diesel, illustrated by Josie E. Percy wasn't feeling well. Sir Topham Hatch sent him to the train doctor to get better. I shall have to borrow another engine while Percy is away, Sir Topham Hatch said. The only engine the other railway could spare was Diesel. Thomas the tank engine remembered how Diesel had caused trouble the last time he came to the station. You've come to help, Thomas said, so no tricks. Tricks, purred Diesel. I'm just happy to help you really useful engines again. Good, Thomas said, but he didn't believe Diesel. Diesel set out to work. He was pulling freight cars when he met Toby. Oh, Toby said, it's you. Toby remembered Diesel's mean tricks too. After you finish your job here, please pull those freight cars to the harbor, said Toby. He wanted Diesel as far from him as possible. Thomas and Toby made it clear to Diesel that they would not stand for any nonsense. No making up stories or causing trouble, Thomas said. Yes, Thomas, Diesel purred. I understand, Thomas. The freight cars knew that Sir Topham Hatt had sent Diesel away for troublemaking in the past. Let's have some fun with him, laughed the freight cars. There's Naughty Diesel, they called. Diesel could feel his temper rising. Yes, Thomas, teased the freight cars. I understand, Thomas. Grrr, Diesel roared. I'll teach you. He gave the freight cars a great big push. Crash! Diesel pushed the freight cars right into a fence. Broken wood and upset freight cars were everywhere. Grrr! Diesel growled. Any more teasing and I'll squash you all flat! Sir Top Ham Hat was very angry at Diesel. You're going back to the railway as soon as you'll finish your work, said Sir Topham Hatt. Diesel was sad that Sir Topham Hatt was angry with him. Later that day, Daisy was chugging along when she realized she had an oil leak. Thomas will have to take your passengers, said her driver. Thomas started up the hill, but the tracks were oily and he began to slip. Help! Help! said Thomas. Thomas could not stop his heavy train from pulling him downhill. Suddenly, Clarebell's back wheels rolled right off the track and into the mud. Serves him right, Diesel said when he heard about Thomas. But then Diesel felt ashamed. Thomas needed help. And Diesel was the closest and strongest engine on the line. I'm coming, Thomas, 
Diesel called. Bit by bit, Diesel crept forward on the oily track until he reached Thomas. Soon, workmen arrived and helped Clarebell back on the line. They cleaned the oil off the tracks and put the dry sand on them. Diesel dug his wheels into the sand and pushed Clarebell. Thomas helped too. Inch by inch, the engines moved forward. Finally, they chugged back to the station. Thank you, Diesel, said Clarabelle. You were great, Thomas said. And even Sir Top Ham Hat was proud of Diesel because he had rescued Thomas and Clarabelle. Everyone hoped Diesel would come again. Diesel hoped so too. Well, that ends our story. And what a good story it was. And the takeaway that I want to kind of concentrate on is the one where Diesel has such a tough time with, you know, the other engines that he had to work with. And unfortunately, that's kind of his fault. And the reason why is because Diesel had a past. And because of that past and that reputation that he had, no one really wanted to be around him because they didn't want him to, to do anything that he had done in the past. And if you're familiar with my channel, you probably uh, see that there is a couple of, there's a couple of stories on this channel about Diesel or with Diesel in it to kind of show you exactly what we're talking about. But that's what he has to deal with. And now, a good thing was or a good example of it is he was like the last one chosen because he was the only one available to help out when Percy got sick. You know, it's like being the last person uh, picked on the team after everybody else was picked and you were the last one because either people didn't like you or you were the weakest one or something like that. But in his case, folks, other trains just did not like him. So the thing is, if you put out good vibes and stay positive, that all has a way of coming back to you. But on the other side of that, if you put out negativity and bad vibes, that has a way of coming back to you as well. And in the case of Diesel, it actually kind of preceded him when people hear he's coming, they they know or they think they know what's coming their way. But it didn't appear like Diesel was actually wanting to do any of what he did in the past. No teasing, no playing around. He looks like he just wanted to get his job done. And it was hard for him to get it done because of his reputation. So my advice to you is that at all times, try not to put out anything but positivity and good vibes. Because I guarantee you that is what's going to help you in the future. Okay? Well, until next time, my young readers, I am your little darling narrator, out.